let us now find out what is average value of load current average value of load current is nothing but i average or it is called as idc the dc value of the current it is given by area under the curve by the base that is if you for any given area for any given curve what is the area under that curve divided by the base of the curve now for this equation we have taken the curve from 0 to 2 pi and so, uh, therefore the area under the curve from 0 to 2 pi we got it as 2 i m and the base that is we are taking the curve from 0 to 2 pi so therefore the base will be 2 pi now using this equation we will get we already have the area under the curve as 2 i m and the base is 2 pi so therefore i get this as i m by pi this is the suppose equation 2 so we got i d c as i m by pi next let us calculate what is the rms value of the total output current and i denote this as irms okay so what is meant by rms rms is nothing but root mean square value so how do we write that let us now write first we will write r that is root then we will write mean that is average over the curve here we are taking the curve from 0 to 2 pi so i divide it by 2 pi so root mean square of the term so we are taking the curve from 0 to 2 pi and the waveform is represented by i l but here we are writing square so we get i l square d of omega t so this is how we can write the expression for rms value first write root then mean then square of the term so we will get root mean square value so again we will try to derive an equation for this rms value of total output current here 2 pi is constant so i write 1 by 2 pi then here we have integral from 0 to 2 pi so we again split it into 0 to pi I'll open a bracket 0 to pi i l square d of omega t plus pi to 2 pi i l square d of omega t this entire thing is to the power of 1 by 2 now we know that the il value is 0 from pi to 2 pi so therefore from pi to 2 pi the il value is equal to 0 so we have only the first term and this first term from 0 to pi it is represented by im sin omega t so i substitute this value 1 by 2 pi integral 0 to pi i l is i m sin omega t so here because it is square i m square sin square omega t d of omega t to the power of 1 by 
2. Now, here im is the peak value, so I take it as constant. im square by 2 pi. This is sin square theta. I can write sin square theta as 1 minus cos 2 theta by 2, where here our theta is equal to omega t. So therefore, I get this equation as integral of 0 to pi. In place of sin square theta, I write 1 minus cos 2 theta is omega t. So cos 2 omega t divided by 2 into d of omega t whole to the power of 1 by 2. This 2 if we take it as a common term, I am square by 4 pi integral 0 to pi integral 1 d of omega t is omega t minus integral of cos 2 omega t is sin 2 omega t and integral of 2 omega t is 2. So, between the limits 0 to pi and for this entire term we have root to the power of 1 by 2. So now let us substitute the limits. We get i m square by 4 pi into, sorry because we have integrated here already, we will not get this integral term here. Okay. So is, I hope it is clear. This is i m square by this 2 into 2 is 4 pi. Then we have integral 1 d of omega t which is omega t. Then integral of cos 2 omega t is sin 2 omega t by 2. So now let us move to the substitution of the integrals that is omega t. The limit is pi minus 0 minus we have sin 2 omega t in place of omega t when you substitute pi sin 2 pi minus by 2 minus sin 0 by 2 so sin pi is 0 so this is also 0 so you will get and we have for this entire term to the power 1 by 2. Now here we have i m square by 4 pi into pi to the power of 1 by 2. So this pi will get cancelled and i m square by 4 under root will give you i m by now let us take this as equation 3. 